So adapting to a dual condition of water and ground was a challenge along with the cost and construction. But the client was enthusiastic about this option and encouraged us to proceed with the conceptual design. Keeping the idea of a lightweight floating platform with a pavilion, we prepared the scheme design. So before I go to the scheme design, I'd like to show a few images that how this uh, dredge and fill operation has become uh, omnipresent. I mean, wherever one can access to the river, it would just go and dredge sand and barge and start filling and change, altering the landscape. Uh, indiscriminately and for the floating uh, option we could of course uh, look into a raft or a pontoon uh, for the as a landing station so there were examples that one could also consider for a raft. so keeping the idea of a lightweight floating platform with a pavilion we prepared the scheme design that comprised of a number of modular units resting on a level ground and tied to guide post facilitating the vertical movement of the platforms during increase and the decrease of water levels though an untested model the scheme received enthusiastic approval from the client this we mentioned that the entire design exercise was not a continuous one but carried out with intervals in between to accommodate uh, our resource availability. We had agreed to be only compensated for the preparation of the construction documents. By the autumn of 2014, construction documents and cost estimates were done. We were ready to start its site. An experienced carpenter who has worked for the client before was entrusted to lead the construction work. Being a carpenter by trade, he of course was not fully conversant with bamboo, the predominant material of this structure, but his carpentry skills proved to be quite adequate to complete the task. And we had to prepare uh, not only uh, drawings, but also drawings that could communicate clearly the entire process of assembling. And we also had to make small models that were kept in the site. And uh, we had a representation from the office who would closely monitor the construction. And now I turn over to Andrea again, and she's going to show a second project, what we have done after the school in Rudrapur, or, or what is an ongoing project at the moment. Yeah, that's um, actually very nice to and brings us back to, um, to Bangladesh. It's a project uh, where I got involved. It uh, was a bit of uh, luck uh, from my side. Uh, one of the, or actually the, uh, the master student who developed the entire project, um, he uh, became um, a son and uh, his wife said, well, you better stay in, in Germany, in Berlin, and don't go to site to, to undertake the material development. So I could join um, this project. It's um, teacher housing. It's located on the existing um, campus in, in Rudrapur, where Eike uh, constructed already um, the, the Meti school um, that you can see uh, here in the, in the um, uh, uh, landscape plan. And uh, Sebastian um, Barrett, who wrote this fantastic master series, um, he developed uh, on the, um, the existing comp compound um, this um, housing project. It consists of um, four buildings. Um, uh, he decided to design them uh, in the same way. He tried to, to create a really dense compound um, to create um, through this um, arrangement privacy um, in the courtyard. And um, the, um, the flats are quite um, generous, I think, um, but well designed. Um, they, they are flexibly in use. They could be used um, by a couple uh, with kids, or they could also be used um, by two um, different teachers. Um, so there are all sorts of ideas. And uh, the important link is always um, 
this um, veranda area that that ties everything together. So basically, you um, you have um, a main um, entry space uh, where where the main um, life is going on, uh, where you can um, host your guests. Um, you have two bedrooms. Um, um, a kitchen and uh, and a bathroom and uh, a balcony area. Um, two of the buildings um, are um, three stories high, which I think is um, is very new um, for this area. But the aim was really to to create um, a good density and um, to to extend really the um, the school project. Um, uh, we decided, um, or the the idea was to. To develop two stories in earthen construction and the upper uh, story um, as a light construction uh, made out of uh, bamboo. Um, uh, in order to overcome the um, uh, the, the, the challenges for the the Meti school, Met, uh, the the school um, project is obviously a typology. Uh, um, that's not so often constructed, and um, as Ike explained, it was constructed in in cop construction. But um, the the challenge with that is that you have quite um, um, thick walls. So for the um, housing project, um, the idea was to construct uh, in a thinner way and to develop um, earth blocks, knowing that this is not so easy because um, the earth um, is quite silty in, in, in Rudrapur. So it was clear that we had to undertake um, a dedicated uh, material development in order to, to generate these earth blocks uh, with a, um, a compressive strength um, of two newtons per square millimeter. So this this was um, quite uh, challenging, and unfortunately, Corona, um, the crisis came up, and we we couldn't really finalize all the testing. So that we, um, for the time being, we constructed only one of the buildings, and unfortunately, not yet in, in earth block construction. But hopefully, the the rest will be. Uh, be done in uh, with earth and uh, bamboo. So you have, uh, you can see here, we have a, a foundation in um, stabilized earth blocks um, or um, uh, uh, bricks. That's that's a decision. And then um, the idea was then to have a, um, a horizontal damp proof course in order to protect um, the earth um, uh, foundation, uh, the, the earth walls. And uh, you have two stories in in earth and. Um, a veranda made in, in bamboo. The ceilings out of um, a fire protection reason we um, designed in, in concrete, knowing that this is not um, our ideal scenario. There's a lot, a lot more research to be carried out, uh, but for the time being, safety for the inhabitants was obviously more important because if you sleep and the fire um, uh, starts, then um, it's it's very risky. Whereas in a school building, every is um, awake, uh, it's not uh, so much of a problem. With this project again, I'm exploring solid and voids, layers of privacy, uh, the magaz. Uh, I find that still in Egypt or in our culture, the magaz is something we we actually do. Even with the small apartment, we always try to navigate that the apart. Who, the guest or whoever comes in doesn't see everything and he's yeah he has that you know um not very direct entrance so i was exploring these notions from my guess from in between from what's outside and what's in and um and creating also a contemporary language and the line because again um how i work with the boundary is um, it's hard for me to explain it, but I uh, uh, I hope something. <laughs> These are some of the studies in the beginning. That's the courtyard entrance when you enter, and then you 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 put the, I put the circulation all on the periphery, and I made the private parts inside. I have another like a court for towards the the view. The view is from that side. <clears throat> Here are the different um, layers of the model. Uh, these are, it's it's still in that status of concrete and brick. This is built within a, a compound or a developer. So the material and materiality of how I work is dictated um, with the developer. So because he has to build and he's building with uh, concrete and bricks. So I'm... I'm not allowed a lot uh, 
I have to work with him with with what he uh, gives for most of his clients or his or the people who bought from him the plots and Egypt now is filled with those um, gated communities. It is one of them, but not very, it, it's one of the, uh, a bit open. It's not fully gated. And um, uh, and because the land is on a cliff on the pyramid, so they didn't need much of gating. And uh, here are the uh, three pyramids. One of them you can see from the shot. Because of the revolution, a lot of my projects uh, or the Arab Spring has stopped in that um, uh, status by like looking like an archeological site a bit. They will maybe get resumed currently because the situation in Egypt is economically getting back. There is a bit of stability. So people wanting back to, uh, to, to develop them, but uh, from 2013-14, ev everything, you know, went to a stop for, or a pause for a bit. 